quick as a vessel in this transition, man. Um, so, all the everything that's going on, all the eyes on you. Can you talk about how much fun you have in all the adjustments? Yeah, I think, you know, it's just a very quick turnaround. I mean, this is what, day 25 of being together as a team, and we've already played five games. So it's very quick. We don't have much time to adjust, and uh, that's just the reality of, of what it is. So you kind of have to accept it and learn from game to game. I think the last two games we've put ourselves in very, very good opportunities to win the game. It's just like the little things that are just killing us right now. So, um, you know, you can't get too down on yourself. You can't, that's just going to lead to more losses. So uh, continue to find ways to win. Um, win the day, whether it's practice, whether it's, you know, the film you're watching, just find ways to improve. Um, you know, I got to give credit to my teammates. Like, they just come in with such a positive attitude every single day, and that's really all that you can ask. What has Aaliyah Boston been able to help you with, you know, her being on this journey a year ago? What has she been able to do? some of the advice that she's been able to give you to be able to help you adjust and be able to focus, you know, on your practice? Yeah, I think the biggest thing about Aaliyah, like, coming in here, I think her leadership has been amazing. Like, she's been one of the biggest voices in our locker room. Um, she's been somebody that's been there to pick me up. I've been there to pick her up. Um, and, you know, we're navigating this together. Like, it's hard opposing a, a point guard trying to create that connection, that chemistry kind of within, you know, 20 days and five games, and everybody's expecting so much. So I think it's just a learning process, and then that will only continue to get better. Um, I think the pace that we want to play on is a little bit different than what they played at last year. So continuing to get comfortable with that. But I think overall, Leah's just like overall leadership and her voice in our locker room has been tremendous. Uh, in terms of like the high pressure situations, obviously you came in like a storm. You know, it's an adjustment just being, coming from college and you know, getting into the WNBA. What would you say is like been the biggest challenge for you? And what would you say are your goals in terms of just getting adjusted and making sure that you're setting the tone for your team? Yeah, I think the, I think just, the quick turnaround has been the biggest adjustment. I think the physicality has been an adjustment. Um, I think the biggest thing for us going forward to continue to set the tone, I think we need to have better starts in our games. It feels like we're always fighting from being down, and that's you know that's a really tough position to put your teammates in, um, especially the ones that are coming off the bench and trying to give really solid minutes. Like, it feels like we're always continuing to try to claw back um, from five points, eight points, and we usually do. It's just like if we don't put ourselves in those situations, you know, we're gonna have a lot more success. Yeah. Some of the advice that some of the veterans gave as far as the adjustment period, the learning curve, some people took it as hate. Did you take it more of like wisdom because they haven't played in the league that you're entering into as far as listening to some of their you know, advice? Yeah. yeah, I think it's, you know, everybody's going to have an adjustment period no matter what type of job you have in your life. Like you start a new job, like you're going to have to learn the ropes and learn, learn how it goes. It's the same for me. This is a new job for myself. Like I'm not going to come in here and know exactly how everything works, how this organization works, how this league works. Like, it's an adjustment period for myself, too. It's, um, you know, learning as I go. Um, and, you know, really, you're just thrown right into the fire. And maybe that's the best way to learn. And maybe at times, you know, you're going to have some hard lessons to learn because you're playing games right off the bat. But I think our, our vets have done a great job, whether it's been Kelsey, whether it's been Erica, of, like, you know, being there, having my back, and, you know, coaching me on the side, coaching me during timeouts and games, um, and just learning, you know, through those – through those moments, whether they're good or whether they're bad, um, you know, there's always a really good learning opportunity there. Just back to Leah for a second. Uh, what do you feel like you guys do best on the court together? Yeah, I think our I think our pick and roll game, and that's exactly what we kind of want to get more of. I think uh, getting more of that action can be like, very successful for us. I think especially in transition, coming down, getting some drag streaks set when the defense isn't set yet. I think that's when it's going to be more more successful for us. Whether she can, you know, get get the ball right in the middle of the paint and make a read out of there. Kaylin, now that you've played a few games in the W, like what's been one of the biggest adjustments for you so far transitioning from college into the W? Like I said, I think the physicality, I think um, the pace at which you have to learn, like coaches installing new stuff every single day, there's not a lot of time to, you know, go over it. The next day you come back to practice because that's not what you have. We're going practice game, practice game. So you've got to learn something that shoot around and be ready to put it in, into play that night at the game. So I think just you know, the mental preparation that you have to have is a lot different from college. Also, in terms of just like the transition that the W has had while you've been, you know, kind of the face of the league for lack of a better term, what would you say in terms of what you've seen from the W um, in terms of charter flights and the collective bargaining agreement? And what would you like to see as maybe some transitions into the yeah, I think the league has, has come a long way, especially in the last few years. I think uh, the viewership numbers have definitely increased. I think the amount of people that are in seats, and for me, like that's amazing. I've been somebody that was a young girl coming to these games, 
uh, supporting this league, and now that's only continuing continuing to grow. I think that's incredible. I think charter flights have been long deserved, so I'm happy for everybody that's been in this league that's now finally getting that. Um, it certainly makes everybody's lives a little bit easier, the recovery a little bit easier, the preparation for the next game is going to be easier. Um, and I think expansion, I, you know, that's only going to help the league to grow too. As you know, there's only, you know, there's less than 144 spots in this league. So there's so much talent in women's basketball across the world. And really, this is such a hard league to stay in and to compete in. Um, and now the more expansion we can get, the more eyeballs we can get on this league. So as that continues to grow, I think it's going to be really good for our league. Time for two more. It's early, but uh, what does Kelsey and Nancy both as a team have grown so much to this one and what happens uh, to us? Yeah, I think our I think our chemistry is something that will continue to develop, and obviously Kelsey's coming back from an injury as we begin training camp. So I really haven't had a ton of time to practice with her. Really, the only time we've had together is been important games as she's been kind of trying to come back from that. But I think her leadership has been great. She's always been somebody that's been my ear and somebody that really just wants me to be my best. And she's always motivating me and having my back and wants me to be successful. And um, that's something that you know gives me a lot of confidence to be in the place. Tomorrow, tomorrow, guys, that he was Three other top draft picks as well, and Kevin Brooks and Kia Jackson. How excited are you about tomorrow? Yeah, I'm very excited. Obviously, getting to play in crypto, like this, uh, an iconic arena. Um, I expect the crowd to be amazing, and obviously, Kevin and Kia, two, two really great rookies that are doing a lot uh, for the Sparks. So, I think it's going to be a great environment. I think it's going to be a great game. Um, you know, I know the fans will be incredible, and it's just, just a good display of basketball um, for everybody to see. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much, David.